Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to overclock on the Wanninger X58, uh, what is it, Deluxe? Yeah. I've done so much with this stupid board, I don't know why I would forget something like that. But it is actually really, really simple. Number one, you cannot overclock from the BIOS. Keep that in mind. Number two, the only CPUs that you can overclock on are the W3570, W3580, W3680, and W3690. Those are the only four CPUs that you can overclock with. And the only way that you can overclock is by going and getting Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. The Intel Extreme Tuning Utility is used for essentially overclocking on OEM boards. But you can also use it for overclocking on Chinese boards, especially if it has an unlocked multiplier. Um, I, unfortunately, don't have a good cooler on right now, so I'm not going to be able to hit my uh, my 4 gigahertz overclock. But most of the time, this CPU can run at 3.99 gigahertz with no problem. But, as you can see here, I did have some uh, temperature problems earlier, so I'm going to be dropping it down a little bit. But yeah, it is as simple as adjusting your multipliers. Your multipliers are which cores are running at which speed, and it's very, very simple. It's very, very easy. Like right here, we are running at now... I think, let's open up uh, CPU-Z. Probably going to be running at like 3.8, I want to say. 3.78. Yeah, 3.85. It's actually lowered down one more. Just because I was having uh, temperature problems. But yeah, it, it's just that simple. It is a super easy way to do it. It's just Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and adjust your core multipliers. There is no front side overclocking. There is no overclocking on the X56. 75 or x5670 or x5680 um i don't think the board supports the i7 line i could be wrong but at the same time if you're buying this board you probably don't even want to be looking at the i7s which that's kind of not here nor there um i'm trying to think of what else I could say. I mean, it's super simple. It's literally just going to Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and overclocking from there. Um, that was the only way I was able to actually get the overclocks to work. I tried overclocking the front side bus using some other programs. It did not work. Um, I tried overclocking from the standard BIOS. That also did not work. All that you need to do is use the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. I'm going to say that again and again. That's all you need to do. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you all later. Peace.